Today, we're unraveling a story that's as complex as it is captivating. Imagine this, a tranquil park, a seemingly innocent picnic, and a conversation that's anything but ordinary. We're talking about Amy Roloff, her husband, Chris Merrick, and her ex-husband, Matt Roloff. This isn't just your average tale of post-divorce dynamics. It's a story that has little people, big world fans everywhere picking sides and voicing their opinions loud and clear. Some fans are shading Chris for cozying up to Matt, calling it a major conflict of interest. It's a friendship that stirred up more than just a little controversy. In a recent teaser from the show, shared by the official TLC Instagram, we see Amy and Chris in the midst of what looks to be a peaceful picnic. But as the conversation unfolds, Amy addresses the elephant in the room, the bromance between Chris and Matt. Chris confesses he's relieved that Amy is gradually becoming more comfortable with their friendship, but Amy's response, I swallow it. The tension is palpable, folks. Chris attempts to defuse the situation with humor, saying he's glad Amy can choke it down. He reassures her with a hug, claiming that when he and Matt hang out, Amy is not their topic of conversation, but not everyone's convinced. Some LPBW supporters are questioning the authenticity of this friendship, suggesting Amy might be tolerating it for the sake of the show's drama, especially with the departure of Zack and Tori looming. Let's not forget the backdrop to this story. Amy and Chris got hitched in 2021, marking a new chapter after her divorce from Matt in 2016. Amy, a culinary enthusiast, runs Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen, with Chris often appearing as the taste tester. However, a recent revelation has added another layer of intrigue. Amy's use of her married name on business paperwork has been inconsistent, sparking curiosity and speculation among fans. Now, let's dive deeper. This situation isn't just about a picnic or name changes. It's about relationships, boundaries, and how they're navigated in the public eye. Chris and Matt's friendship, innocent or not, raises questions about respect, boundaries, and the complexities of blended family dynamics. And Amy's name situation? It could be a subtle hint at her struggle to define her identity amidst these changing relationships. So, here's where I turn it over to you. What do you think about Chris and Matt's friendship? Is it a simple case of moving on and building new relationships? Or is there more at play here? And Amy's decision to sometimes use Marek and sometimes not. What message do you think she's sending? Before you jump into the comments, remember to like this video if you enjoyed the deep dive, subscribe for more content like this, and hit that bell so you never miss out on the latest gossip. Your thoughts and opinions are what make this community amazing, so let's keep the conversation going. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, stay curious, stay engaged, and keep asking the tough questions. Peace out.